Hi, good afternoon, Dan, uh, Midwest Technical Sales. We're doing a video on how to replace a picker in a TL2000. Could be a TL4000, very similar, except it goes a little higher. Um, this particular unit happens to be an IBM TS3100. It's the same unit as the Dell. Uh, MSL 2024, same unit, and various other manufacturers will use the same thing. One of the things that we really like about this particular series is it's all hot swap stuff. So the power supply, which very seldom ever goes out, is hot swap with two screws in the back. Okay. The drive itself is hot swap with two screws in the back. Drive looks like so. You have a little circuit board here that pins uh, that go into a connector back there. And when you insert it, you just need to make sure there's plastic things inside here. Get it lined up in the plastic things on these particular rails on each side. It's nice with the cover off so you can see what you're doing. Get it lined up and make sure that it slides in and out easily. Okay. You get down to the point where you're about a half inch from its seating and now you have to get it into the circuit board. So this is where you have to give it just that little push, about a half inch, drive clicks in place. Have an issue with the I.O. board, library controller board. This is easy, easily hot swappable too uh, and there are no issues with that. Um, in our other videos we've already covered uh, magazine removal. And this would be an emergency magazine removal, for example. Um, you couldn't go through the operator's panel to do it. When the cover's off, all we have to do is push this black lever back here. Get this stuff off here. This little black lever back here, and the magazine will come out. If you don't have the cover off and you want to get the magazine out, which we typically use our, um, and I lost mine here, uh, these little um, air uh, off of an air can. Okay, this will actually slide into a little hole on the drive, and what it'll do, it'll activate this. So you can activate this without uh, having the power on. Um, this is a new, a new one, newer style, and on the right side, it doesn't have any nuts that hold it together. These nuts would loosen up, and this would flex quite a bit, okay? And the barcode reader would have a difficult time reading it. So I put out a video on uh, to check your nuts, and you still have nuts on uh, this side, okay? This would be the side that you have your uh, mail slot on. And so, just as preventive maintenance, you'll want to check these. Nope, drop the washer, hold on. You'll want to check these particular uh, nuts on the bottom here to make sure they're tight and uh, so it doesn't wobble around. Okay, on to the replacement of the picker. What we have to do, the first thing we have to do is get this. I, I, this is the time to get your cell phone out and take a picture right down here. So the first thing that has to come out is this clip has to come off. Okay. And I've taken it off in the orientation it has to be placed back on. This larger um, cutout here at a 45 needs to be put so that it's facing this picker because as this rotates, if you don't have it on right, it'll hit the picker, okay? So you get that. And then what you do is you take, there's a, a little tab on the bottom of this particular, once you have this off, there's a tab on the bottom of this circuit board that holds it in place, okay? So you have to just push that tab down and you actually have this particular unit removed. Now, the only cable you have to detach is the one that goes to the picker. And if you just grab this cable like so, wiggle it back and forth gently, and you'll be able to take it off, okay? And then, when you put it back on, you'll see how it has to go. This blue thing goes to the outside. Then you have to get out a number 10 Torx, and you take off this particular screw from the picker, a number 10, 
you have a washer, um, a plastic washer that goes on the picker, and then between the, the nut and the bolt, you've got a little washer. Okay, so get your cell phone out again and take it, take a picture. So you're here, and all you have to do now, lift out the picker. Okay, picker's removed. If you have an issue with the picker, um, you can uh, buy another picker, put it in yourself, and send it in and have us put it in for you, uh, whatever you uh, choose to do. Reassembly is the same thing, just how we disassembled it. One of the other things that I want you to look at, if you have it apart this far, is this particular piece right here. Okay, and you might not be able to see it, but it sits down on the bottom of the chassis here with a screw in the back. And the picker itself moves itself back and forth on these teeth. If you have a jammed or a broken gear in here, you might end up knocking a couple of these teeth off, okay? So we sell these, these particular pieces of plastic as well, and this would be the time uh, to replace it. So, like I say, it's uh, relatively just, you know, going backwards again, put the picker on, put this washer, this washer, and then this washer, and this screw, and then this uh, into the uh, circuit board back here. The circuit board goes back on here and the cap goes on it. Be careful with this particular um, um, getting this circuit board out because here's where a lot of people run into problems. They get too aggressive and there's a little um, clip that holds the circuit board and they push it down too hard and they break it. Okay? So if you do that, you're going to have to get a hold of us and buy another one. But just take your time and gently push that uh, little pin down there and uh, the circuit board should come out without an issue. That's about it. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Thank you.